Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today, well, we're in Uptown Panapathos and we're on a bit of an art fest. And we're gonna pop into another artist shop and have a little chat with a wonderful lady called Sue. She tells me she's not the boss, but she's in cahoots. And there's about seven artists that operate out of the shop and they have got, well, the gift, shall we say. Now, before we go in and without any further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world and her name is Miss Ochin. Hello. Hello everybody. How nice to see you again and and again. So stick with us. Here we are. That's the facade of the shop. That's what you're actually looking for. And it's the shop on the corner of this little alleyway. There's Grisivi Le Booth waiting to storm the entrance. So as tradition goes, we're going to follow the rear end of Miss Ochin Grisivi Le Booth. So it's a shop that's full of treasures. And the girl in charge of the shop today is Miss Sue. Hi, Miss Sue, you all right? Nice How are you doing? You. So you're one of the artists that yes. actually works we, Yes, here. we all take turns in working here. And you're all in cahoots. How many of you are there now? Seven? Oh, there's seven. We've seven got two extra artists, you know, Artemis and Lee. Right, so Artemis is in charge of this section. And Miss Lena, is in charge of this work of art and this section. So they've all got the little sections and I say they all work in cahoots together as a bit of a cooperative, should we say. So there's something for everybody. So please, please come into the old town, pop into the shop. If Miss Sue's here, you can say hello, Miss Sue. And she'll go, how do you know my name? And she'll know your name from the video. What does a Miss Sue do? Well, oh, that's one of her specialities. This is my, one of my turtles, sea turtles. And it's um, made um, in a raku firing, which is... So what does that mean? Oh, God, well, you, right. you, have, you take the work out of the kiln when mm -hmm. it's about nearly a thousand degrees and you put it in sawdust, okay. which gives it, you know, makes it all go black. And then you lift it out and put it in, in water to quench and you so, get this lovely effect, which is, you know... And then you paint it? No, no, no. no, no. It's got glaze on already. Right. So okay. that, that's, uh, you know, most of the things break. I've had little legs fall off. But that's that the extreme heat okay. and, the, and the cold, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. But these are all the oxides, cobalt. Right. Uh, there's copper carbonate. You can see the green copper. But it's, Fascinating. Uh, it's a lovely Fascinating. technique. And then this yeah, one is this a seahorse. One, yeah, this yeah. isn't... Um, it isn't a raku fired, it's just glazed. Okay. Uh, but again, the, the temperature goes up to 1200 degrees. Wow. So centigrade. you've got a, a kiln? Yeah, of course I have. That's what you've yes. got at your house, yeah, right. Otherwise, you couldn't do it. So if ever you've got any bodies to get rid of, you're the lady to come and see? Uh, no, it's, it's too small. It's too small. We could chop them up into bits. <laughs> there we are. No. So, a true, true work of art. Now, question yeah. how much is that? Um, Approximately. 30, well, that was 39. That yeah, was 39. I have to sort of paint the board and everything. Yeah, there's work to it. This is uh, 25. 25. Quite reasonable so, prices. Quite reasonable prices. Well, I think They're so. They're not yes. expensive. When you think of the art and the danger of going in and out of that curve. Yes. That's the danger. problem, the danger. Mm. So to be honest, it's 39 euros plus another 10 for the danger. But there's some cheaper things over there. Of course there is, of course. The so there's lots of works of art. Which is nothing. I've just actually only brought those in this morning, those doves. Right. You Wonderful. can hang them on yeah. a Christmas tree or anywhere. Beautiful. So this, again, is some of Sue's work. But like I say, there's a few of them in cahoots, so we're going to walk you. I'm going to start you with the front window. That's what I'm going to do, because I remember the story of the lady who owns the shop. She found all of these tables, and she sanded them all down, and she made them into display tables. And I remember... Miss Ochin Grisivi Le Booth asked her if she was willing to sell any of these tables to her and the lady declined the offer because she loves them to bits and of course she uses them to display all of the products that are for sale in the shop. That one's caught my eye, some rather nice goats. I initially thought they were sheep, Simon and Jeremy. We don't need the snorkel but perhaps we may need the Wellingtons. We understand the in-joke, that's for sure. So let's pop inside and have a look slowly at some of the products. Feast your eyes, feast your eyes. Monkey, there we are. Feast. Yes. Yeah. That is rather nice, to be honest. Yeah, I, uh, it's quite popular, you know, with, 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 with 
something from Cyprus because yeah. uh -huh. I the doors. Yes, yeah. yes. You often see this at some of the villages when you go. There's a set of doors on the side of the road that are open as a welcome. There's some on the way into Argaka, which uh, always catches my eye. Again, here's another artist's wares being displayed. It's a wind chime. There's some angels. Wonderful, wonderful ideas. As I say, something for everybody. On this side, you've got some rather nice scarves. Look at these. The quality that's in there. The time that's taken to do them. And only 25 euros. These accessories here are 18 euros. And as we go down, these ones are only 10. Wow. Spectacular. Great, great things. You've got some various different artists. You never know. We may be in Hollywood soon. You never know. Tom Cruise is coming around next week. There we are. I've got a wig. I'll come back later. I'll be jumping out of a helicopter. Yeah, these are some of my favourite pictures, and I know yeah. this is oh so so sweet. Caroline Carter came in and purchased one of these earlier on in the summer. We've got jewellery. I think it's very very hard to grasp all of it on camera. It's a place that people need to visit. And here's some of the glassware. Yeah. Then we're back to the mosaics, which were slightly featured before. It's the kind of shop you can come into and spend a good hour. Whether you buy something or not is not that important, because they understand that you will come back and you will grace their hands with that little bit of silver. Do you see that lovely cat. <laughs> there we are. We've gone off cats at the moment because we've already got four of them who are, well, cost of living crisis. They don't seem to understand it. They just want to eat the best food and chicken every single day. Well, it's beautiful. Anywhere you look, you just spend time to understand the spirit of it, the idea of it, and the, the, the beauty that you admire it. We'll spend another 10, 15 minutes beautifully. Yeah. I'm going to wander around item. showing you some of the things. There's cushions here. We've got placemats, a pack of placemats there. 18 euros, handcrafted, hand painted, obviously. There we are. And this lady, she says it's a beautiful, beautiful shop. There we are. Come in every time we come to Cyprus. There we are. See? It's a place we can come back to over and over. They make you feel very warm and very, very welcome That's because indeed. There's new things all the time. Yes. You know, there we are. There's Miss Sue. Yes, there is. Because obviously, once something's gone, it's gone. Yeah. It's we, unique. It's one off. Yeah, it's a one off. And, uh, you know, we, one tries to replicate something that sells well. But I've got uh, several of these, but they're there all different colours, you see. There we are. So there's, you fancy one of them? Similar one, which is. Run in. That one is unique. Yeah, when he's gone, there'll be another one to replace him, but he will not be quite the no, same. No, they're all different. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, that's why I, I like sort of a bit of old driftwood to put them on, because mm -hmm. that's different as well. Where do you, do you just find it at oh, the side of the road it, it, or whatever? It's, yes, it's not driftwood, it's just yeah. old It's old bits wood of wood. Like but again, it's around. being recycled, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. Um, some of these are old planks or old shutters, mm -hmm. I've used mm -hmm. shutters, but um, I like them with all the, this weathering on them. Gives it that character. Yeah. So, lovely. Thank you, Miss Sue. Right. Well, you are a star. You both. And we wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. All the luck in the world. And hopefully, you make a lot, lot more money. Yes. Because that's what it's all about. Thank you, Miss Sue. So, we're going to pop outside. The shop's getting busy. It's a very, very popular shop indeed. So, if there's something you've seen and there's something you fancy, get yourself down to the Paphos Old Town and cross their palms with that little bit of silver. Let's have a word with Cresivia Labouf and get her opinion of the wonderful works of art in that shop. You know, I always like things like that and I cannot go through. I understand that on the second floor they've, 
you see, we haven't seen the second floor. If there's a further see, gallery. That, look at this. But often they're working up there. But, uh, yeah, but as I see in the vitrine, it's rather beautiful uh, pictures. And I want you to show that picture. Right, let's try and grasp it. There that, we are. So upstairs now, <laughs> it's more of a working gallery up there. There is a stairs to go up there. But please, please be careful if you go up. But it's like a fire escape stairs. And there is the front facade of the shop again. A truly, truly spectacular shop full of unique art. And Gracieva Le Bouffe has fallen in love yet again. But can you imagine, it, and the price of it is 25 euros, you can see mm -hmm. it, look. But can you imagine this all handmade? And if you put a candle inside and light it up, how beautiful it's going to be. I, I would admire the beauty of it on the table or wherever it is all the time. Yeah, it's a place to get that special, special, unique gift that brings back those wonderful memories of your wonderful time in the beautiful place called Cyprus, which is, of course, the island of love. Now, let's get a very, very good goodbye from Ms. Ochin Grisivi And now I think uh, I've deserved some coffee or tea, whatever it is. I would like to tell you many thanks for watching. We are loving you to be. Don't forget to come and see another of our beautiful madnesses and many kisses. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Of course, if you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and please come back for that little bit more of our madness. If you really want to help the channel, please consider going through to our about page and hitting the buy me a coffee button. You can also scroll along where it says share, like, dislike if you don't like it, and you can find the button that says thanks, and it's a super thanks, and again, you can make a contribution. Proceed. And I'm already ready for the coffee, but who's going to buy it? This is a good question. To be or not to be? <laughs> so we'll leave Grisivi Le Bouffe for that little bit. I'll go and get a can of Coke. Bye bye, Grisivi. Thanks for watching.